What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. So today is May Neck Monday and we are playing ADP birds, ADP Zashi, and ADP I like saying ADP chickens. I've heard somebody say that once and I was like, oh that's a perfect name. Uh but this list actually ADP Birds has been doing like somewhat well over the past couple weeks, but actually won a tournament um the other day. It went nine one and one. It beat uh the mirror pretty much. It beat Urshavu Teleon, it beat Shadow Rider, which Shadow Rider should be an auto win. Uh, it beat Luke Metal, Eternatus, Shadow Rider, Luke Metal, Eternatus, lost to Blissey, and beat the Mirror Match. So, deck is doing really good. I think it has a lot of potential. It has, like, a lot of these different, like, combinations and stuff that can easily power up your different guys. Uh, you still have the same, like, ADP Zashian, Alter Creation, you know, you take an extra prize card. Uh, still really, really good. But now you have this new guy, Moltres V, and has Dire Flame Wings. Once during your turn, you may attach a Dark Energy from your Discord pile to, to this Pokemon. You can't use more than one Dire Wings ability each turn. Uh, so point of the deck is you get Dark Energies in Discord pile. You can use this, power it up. You also can have an Aurora Energy, which counts as Dark, which is pretty cool. You have, you know, just a regular Metal Energy, because you need two Dark and a Metal, so that's really nice. And you do 190 damage, you're one-shotting the Shadow Riders even without the buff, you're doing 380, which is pretty good. And uh, that's what makes the deck so strong, because it's everywhere. Uh, there is Zapdos V, which has Thunderous Kick, once again you do 340, um, which wants out to E-turn, but with the buff you're doing 400. Um, so that's pretty cool, and also this Pokemon's tax calls one uh, colorless less for each of your opponent's V Pokemon in play. So they have three V Pokemon, your Thunderous Kicking for 170 for one energy. Which is really, really strong. Eldegoss, Crobat, and Dedini for support. Mawas for support as well. Uh, Zashian is good for Brave Blade with still a really good attack. 260 and super strong. But now with this VMAX heavy format, you can, you know, you have Zapdos, you have Moltres, you have, you know, even Zashi takes on Ice Rider. So you have all these cool combinations. And I think this is why it makes it one of the strongest decks right now. Or a card just help you draw cards. You do probably auto lose to um, Decidueye. You just gotta hope that when you drop the Mawal, you hit multiple of the basics and you knock them out. Uh, two chairs fall in front of your GX. We're still playing, you know, ADP, Dedini, and stuff like that. Four energy switches because we want to switch our, our you know, energy around ASAP uh, to power up Moltres, Zapdos, Zacian. Four metal saw circus gives up metal trees on the field, uh, which you can go on the Zacian or Mawal. And that's it, though. That's a big thing. It's only those two guys now. Uh, four quick ball, explain a bunch of basics. Three switch, switch your guys. One toll scrapper. Um, this could get rid of uh, goggles, which could be really good. Uh, both you discard two tools and discard them, which is pretty nice. Everybody's playing balloons now, too. Uh, three Verde Force, which is really good in this deck because you get to discard certain energies as well as find certain energies. So you can, like, discard a dark, find a dark, detach a dark, you know, use Dire Flame, Wings, get energy, uh, which is pretty good. For Boss Order, the point of the deck is to alter creation turn one and boss boss for game, right? Uh, two Marty for disruption, four Juniper for research just to draw like crazy. Two air balloon to give those free retreat if needed. Three Aurora energy, which counts as any type of energy as long as attached to basic. You do have to discard a card. Three dark, five metal, and two water energy. So we we know what ADP does. It's a good deck. It's been a good deck for a long time. But now with this new inclusion, we have you know ways to beat the V maxes, which is pretty cool. Uh, shout out to Cow Cow two of six for winning, and uh, we're gonna take the deck for a spin. I'm excited for tomorrow's video as well. Uh, yeah. Two, like, ADP is, like, you know, giving us the last two raw because it's about to get rotated. And um, it'll be interesting once ADP does finally rotate. What does that do for the meta is the big question. So we do have a mulligan. They have a mulligan as well. Okay. Uh, I wonder how this deck beat Urshifu and Teleon. I guess they just, like, go so quick. Because you don't have any psychic attackers. Okay. So we got Zacian. We are an expanded right now, Josh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, guys. I apologize. Just realized I saw Battle Presser and I was like, mm, that's not standard. That's expanded. All right. So let's go to standard, actually. All right. Let's try this again. I was really confused and they're like, I want to go first. And I was like, mm, is this Shadow Rider opting to go first? Like, that's pretty crazy to think about. Uh, it, Shadow Rider first is like a really good thing to do. Um, if you haven't played Shadow Rider that much. Alright, let's try it again. Looks like we are playing in standard. We did switch it. Got the Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Mewtwo going on. And we won the coin flip this time. We still want to go first. We want to, like, set up. Maybe get a turn to a knockout regardless. And our hand is... <laughs> it's a lot worse. Alright, well. 
We can at least grab an ADP, put a Water G on it. Uh, okay, there is a Cresselia. Uh, so, yeah, we'll go this. Let's quick a Dark. I think I'm going to grab a Moltres. Yeah, because we could threaten a turn to knock out here. So we do this. We'll go for that Dire Flame Wings. Get an energy attached. I think we ready and force. Ready and force the energy switch for another dark energy. And then we hit him with the Intrepid Sword. We did not find an energy, but what we did find is Air Balloon. Um, we could send a Moltres, knock out a Shider Arter, if he only gets one, Pokegear. Now, this could find Gengar Mimikus. There's Marnie. Marnie will get rid of the Air Balloon and our Ball Sorter, both cards we want to keep. And it is green, so it's some type of green engine. So it's not Shadow Rider, we know that for sure. All right, so let's see what kind of deck they're playing. Now, if it is, Path to the Peak and Crushing Hammer. Those are really two good cards. Heads, okay, that's good. Path to the Peak come out. There's a Trevenant Dust Norm, which is still weak to Dark. And there we see the Crescent Glow. So it's still a Energy Accelerator. But if we talk about Energy, we have Knockout. No, we don't, because of this. Hmm. Okay, this is unfortunate. So let's do Air Balloon. We'll still put down the ADP. Uh, do we put down the other Zacian? I don't see why not. And then hit with that research. Okay. Hmm. I can roar this and discard Zapdos and pass. Because next we're going to ball, so roar. It depends if they hit energy. Yeah, that's what we'll do here. Okay, there's Retreat to Dustnor. Boss order. Okay. Well then. All right, well, let's try it again. <laughs> oh, man, now they can, uh, yeah. So with the Pale Moon, we got it out of the active, so that's good. So they couldn't take a knockout. They did discard energies, but, I mean, if we find a dark energy, we can go for it. There's a lot of things we could find here. Okay, well, that's it's not good. Okay, come on, research top deck. Okay. So I'm just gonna, no, regardless, they're gonna be able to bump our stadium. Okay, no. So we Viridian, we retreat into Intrepid. Okay. So it comes down to, do they have, well, if they, they're gonna hit us with a, with a Night Watch, and they're gonna be a Trace Roll for a Dittini. They receive Tack Hall, which is gonna give them Guzma Hollow to find the path to the peak. Very good for them. All right, so Guzma Hollow, discard two. Okay, Path, Balloon, Horror. All right, well, that's not good. Or the Horror Energy. I guess I Ball Spring up this. We know they have a Syncate in hand. Okay. Yeah, I think we just Boss this up. And we'll see. Okay. Okay, Path to the Peak is getting us. Oh, they ballooned last time, Josh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing they did last turn. Well, either way, they would have got energies. Well, yeah, uh, pretty much. Okay, all right. So they're going to take a knockout here. We have ways of one-shotting this. We just kind of get it. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Cresselia, we don't care about that. We need a top deck of research. If we top deck research, we're in game. Okay, yep, yeah, bye-bye, my wall. Does it get shuffled or put in the bottom? Hmm. All right, we'll send it to DD on our turn. Okay, we attach a steel. We can retreat and pass. 
All right, next turn research. Okay, greens. This is going to find hammer, most likely. Maybe double hammer. Fan and hammer. Oh, busted. There goes Aurora. EXP share. Hammer. Okay. Tool scrapper, my balloon. All right. Night watch for 150. Okay, we need top deck research here. <laughs> Sorry, opponent. All right, so we go here. We go dark to dire flame wings. Okay, let's go quick a saucer. Do I go for Crobat? To draw four. No, I'm going to go into Dudini, actually. All right, so Tool Scrapper. Oh, we could have went for... Hmm. Could have went for Crobat. Oh, what? I didn't... Anyways. Let's go ahead and discard this. Grab a metal. Hit him with the Dudini. Yep. All right, so we got the switch. Get the knockout. Okay, so he doesn't take a knockout next turn. We can boss knockout this. There's water, ADP, Marnie, Griselli comes up. I thought I clicked this, but I guess I didn't. This guy doesn't take a knockout, right? Nope. Fog Crystal. That's how good Moltres is. Like, my opponent had, like, it, we just got lucky, first of all. We just got lucky. We're like, yes. Okay. Let's go. There we go. Oh, we actually didn't have a special energy. We had two darks. All right, there we go. Take it. Like, my point, MVP, chicken, you know, good old dark chicken, you know, doing its thing. Oh, here we go. All right, on to game number two. And after that, that might be a wrap, because you understand the deck, right? There's ADP, there's chickens, and we're just going crazy. So, opponent's turn. All right. Love, love to see it. Love to see this hand. I mean, if we, I don't know what we top deck to one shot or anything, if I'm being honest. Sobble and, okay, this is the matchup I didn't want to play, but you know what? We got to do what we got to do sometimes. There's a grass energy. Attach. Pass into our turn. Oh, doke. So we click this. Find ourselves ADP. Go ADP, Aurora the boss, hit him with the Marnie. And the good thing about ADP now um, is most of the format's really slow, so you have like times instead of because everybody's playing V maxes, so you really have to like be super aggressive, which is nice. Well, he's been multiple sobbles down. I love this. And a capture to find another Rallet. All right, so we definitely don't go for that. Okay, so I'm going to go for a Moltres here. My reason why I have Moltres is because Zacian, you have to switch out every turn. <gasps> Sweet to grass, though. Hmm. I think this is still probably the better play. Oh man. We can do this for this. Um, to grab this, because we don't need him. We do this for this. To grab this. One, two, we have four outs. 
We did it. Hit him the altar creation. All right. Boss this. Ultimate Ray. We could put energies on this guy that we're threatening to Aura Burn next turn. Uh, the cool thing about Aura Burn is like it does it every single time. You do hurt yourself, so like it kind of makes me question, you know, doing this, but whatever. Herbal Energy, Research, discard the Boss Sorter. Do they find Rekane to Decidueye? I mean, we're playing right now is just a boss to stuff and take a knockout. So here's a Drizzle. Now, we're going to be like going, oh no, we touched the metal here. We have to touch metal here. Yeah. So. We just need three knockouts. That's all we need to do. So let's see if we can do that. Yeah, I think we boss this up, take a knockout before it becomes another Decidueye. Or we might just knock out the active. Hold the boss order. That might be actually the better. He's a retreat regardless, though. Mm, unfortunate. Scoop up net. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. We have Mawa on hand. We're going to hold the Mawa as long as possible. So we're going to grab another scoop up net. Okay. So that's two nets gone. Which is good. 90, 20, 20. So he knows this is a correct play. All right, so we do this. Boss. Ultimate Ray. Uh, let's get two metals and a dark. Let's go metal. Metal. Dark here. Take two price cards. And there's energy switch. Switch. Okay. The good thing is we can Intrepid Sword to draw cards. And we have Mawa on hand. We just need them. We just don't need them to play a Marnie ever. Because we know they have two Pokemon in hand, which is good. Problem is we have two boss orders in the discard pile. We play four or four or uh, let's see. We'll play four. Okay, good. Oh, there's the Marty. No. No, no, no. I probably should have just dropped the Mawa. No, that would only gave me two more outs. Oh, man. Okay, so there is the Italian. It's going to... Oh, he's actually going to grab the shitty dealing ones. Okay. Or quick shitty ones. Sorry. So 90, 20, 20. Okay. So go Metal Saucer to here. Aurora this. Hit him with the research. Viridian Force. Grab a Dark Energy. Um, let's stin the deck just in case he Marnies us. Hit him with the Trepid Sword. Okay. There's a Grass Energy active. Marnie. Okay, we don't have boss, so that's okay. Okay. So, 200. So, we send up this. Hmm. Now, we send up this. Ball sorter. Uh, let's energy switch to here and air balloon this. Hit him with a brave blade. All right, get two. Metal saucer, quick ball, cherish ball. Cherish ball will grab me ma while. If there's a Pokemon in the hand, we got this. And we have to go for an next turn, right? Ooh, 
Ooh, I can Venom of Sphinx him, actually. Alright, but we're gonna go for this play. We're gonna go Cherish Ball. For Mawal. Let's go Mawal. Yes. And there we go. Elder Goss for Boss Order. Boss Order the Sidui. There we go. Taking the win against Sidui. I mean, his hand was really, really like a lot of Pokemon. And that is the power of good old Mawa. So, guys, there we go. Um, we saw how good the Moltres was in game one. Taking down Dustnor. Just be able to like one shot it without even any ADP boost. And in game two, which is the classic ADP play. So, it's like this really cool concept of playing like, all right, we're playing this new. Zapdos, Moltres, um, cards as well. Just classic old ADP. And you have more energy acceleration now with Moltres. Deck seems really, really good. Go play it. Have some fun. And, I mean, what do you call the deck? I just call it chickens. Like, because, I mean, clearly that's what there are, right? Uh, so, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I'm excited for tomorrow. Hopefully you are too. And, uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button. Alrighty, bye.